Donald Trump and his ex-fixer Michael Cohen came face to face in a New York courtroom where Attorney General Letitia James' civil fraud case against the former president is playing out. Cohen, a key witness, testified that Trump directed him and Trump Organization Chief Financial Officer Alan Weisselberg to inflate his assets. But he might have a credibility issue, a point Trump's legal team tried to establish. Trump answered reporters' questions outside the courtroom after yesterday's session wrapped up. Let's watch. How did it feel to see Michael Cohen again? Uh, well, I haven't seen him in years. Know his record. His record is a horrible one. All you have to do is ask the Southern District of New York. He's got a horrible record. But they're just starting. But you'll see how it ends. What about his testimony? It's not end up very good. What about his testimony? We're not worried at all about okay. his testimony. Asked how he felt about seeing his old boss, Cohen had this to say. Michael, how did you feel to see Donald Trump again? I could from you. I don't know. They have a little bit of this dynamic to me. Where uh, you know that the the the, uh, the meme, the Madman meme. Um, I, I I think you're petty, and Don Draper says I don't think about you at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way they, they seem to go. Look, this is um, not one of, to my mind, the uh, more uh, important legal issues sure. Trump is tied up in. Michael Cohen does have. Um, credibility problems, which is not to say that I, I think the average person is Why probably willing to believe that um, there was financial malfeasance <laughs> involving the Trump um, organization. Well, because he, I mean, they, um, the law enforcement went after him. I mean, it's a little bit like the everybody flipping on Trump sure. in the Georgia circumstance, where of, of course he's going to say, you know, when he arranged um, allegedly illegal payments, he's going to say, oh, well, that was done with Trump's mastery and expertise. And but is I was that really a credibility issue? Is there any real argument that uh, Cohen was trying to benefit himself by paying off a woman that Trump had had a, a intimate relationship with? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, but the argument being that. I mean, Trump probably just told him to handle it and doesn't necessarily know the details of that. I mean, I think that would be the argument that um, that they're going to make. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it, it's it, it doesn't. I don't know that it's important compared to all the other things he's facing. Yeah, look, and especially since jail time isn't attaching to this one, it's just a, a civil trial. Uh, I think the concern is the Georgia case, some of the other indictments that could potentially put him behind bars, and there is this race to the race of the clock of prosecutors trying to try this case prior to the election for that very reason, and Donald Trump, for obvious reasons, wanting to push it out as long as possible, hopeful that if he wins an election, that might preclude him from having to take res criminal responsibility, at least until a delay period of time. So it is interesting to watch, but hardly as impactful, at least in the electoral sense, as some of the other uh, cases that are ongoing. Yeah, Michael Cohen isn't even as like interesting a figure as Sidney Powell, right, <laughs> uh, from a from a television standpoint, from, from our entertainment standpoint, which is so much of uh, what we're hoping to get out of Trump trials. I, I guess so. If, if the we, I don't know who the we is exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I do think a lot of this audience is not especially interested in, in that, but I do think they they are invested in whether or not the candidate that's being put forward at this time as the as a leader at the PAC and the GOP is actually going to be the one that has any chance of clinching the nomination and running in the general election. Yeah, I mean, the GOP, I, the, the MAGA perspective is that um, a th prosecutors, law enforcement, the Democratic Party, Democratic prosecutors were going to keep trying until they found something they could get to stick on Trump um, that will obviously not stop him necessarily for running for president, but will make it so difficult and put it maybe be on the pale for gettable um, Americans. That's going to be what happens in Georgia, most yeah. likely. I mean, it is also no notable that uh, apparently the New York Times reported that uh, Michael Cohen uh, had these credibility issues from when he, uh, back in 2018, admitted to lying under oath when he pled guilty to federal, t federal crimes at that time. That's over his head a little bit. But it is worth noting that what he was testifying to here as well was this the particular question of whether or not Trump inflated his assets. And what he said was, quote, I was tasked by Mr. Trump to increase the total assets based upon a number that he arbitrarily elected, um, saying that it was his responsibility to, quote, increase those assets in order to achieve the number. So that'll play out 
will be that that'll be determined obviously in the course of this trial as a factual matter. Yesterday we learned that Mark Meadows, former White House chief of staff under President Trump, has been granted immunity by special counsel Jack Smith. This according to ABC News, which broke the story first. Meadows, who testified in the Georgia election fraud case, purportedly told Smith's team he told the former president his claims that the election was rigged were baseless claims. So now everyone's saying that they tried to stop him and they just they just couldn't. He just kept going forward with it. This is the kind of thing that is going to be very hard for Trump to dodge as these trials move forward. The fact that he's going to have so many former associates, um, perhaps just to avoid liability themselves, flipping and throwing Trump under the bus um, is just going to be very damaging for his case and continue to be damaging. Yeah, I mean, doesn't it seem credible to you? I understand people wanting to put forward kind of exculpatory uh, uh, testimony, but it is also true that we've seen any number of people, like Bill Barr, who cut their associations or had their associations with Trump cut long before some of these co-defendants that are being charged in this case, echo very similar sentiments, saying he sought the advice of counsel. We were all his counsel. We told him this plan wouldn't work. We told him that disputing the elect, there, there was no credibility to his claims of election fraud. And for that, we were either fired or put at arm's length or attacked in the public sphere. So there is, to me, a sort of consistency there between the, te the testimony that we've heard already from people who are long outside of um, Donald Trump's circle and what we're hearing now, even if it is self-serving in that way. Well, I guess. But what Jenna Ellis and Sidney Powell and some of those are not, or did not specifically admit that they they, or they they didn't claim that they tried to dissuade Trump from this cause, right? I, Meadows is saying that. Yeah. Um, and and whether Meadows actually did or not is, I, I, I don't know. I, I would be perfectly willing to believe that he and other figures are going to try to por portray themselves positively. No, we gave Trump good information. We, to we told him it was not stolen, and then he just persisted in doing this anyway. I mean, that's... Again, that is that is how the case is going to be set up in order to to doom Donald Trump. And of course, we, we should be clear, Trump's just persi Trump just persisting in his belief that the election was stolen from him is not illegal. It doesn't he he has that the right to free speech and the right to express his opinion on that matter. Uh, the question is going to become, in particularly the Georgia indictment, is there evidence of actually um, engaging in fraudulent behavior, the forging of documents, um, trying to convene a, a gathering of the of the of, of, of illegitimate electors in a public meeting place, things you can actually attach criminality to that these associates were involved in that they're going to say that Trump organized, regardless of whether that's the case or not. Do you, is there any any inkling in your mind that someone other than Trump in his orbit would have independently and without Trump's backing sought to put together the alleged scheme to submit a fake slate of electors? I mean, I, I find it certainly possible that he was not actually the mastermind behind this doomed effort. It's but interesting because Trump's statement so far, I mean, the argument, there's no evidence of the argument, the counter argument from Trump is going to be, oh, yes, there was a conspiracy to overturn the election, but uh, Mark Meadows did it, not me. Uh, one of the, it was one of their ideas, not, not my idea. His argument is that Trump is going to I, gen I sincerely right. believe the election was stolen, and I he thought still everything that it. I was doing was legal. And the actions was that legal. he was taking were legitimate. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to see how that plays out. More rising right after this.